Many Native Americans across the country will be gathering at the Bishop Museum this weekend for the return of the Honolulu Intertribal Powwow. Kamakapili has more. Throughout this weekend, many Native Americans and First Nations will be traveling from the continent here to Oahu to participate in the 47th annual Honolulu Intertribal Powwow right here at Bishop Museum. So to find out more about this, we're here with the president of the Oahu Intertribal Council, Lisa Ka'anoi. Thank you very much for your time. You know, for those who may be unfamiliar, myself included, of what a powwow is, can you share a little bit about that? Well, it's a gathering of many folks that are coming here to do like ceremonial dancing, spiritual dancing, and also for community. What's special about Oahu and for Hawaii, since we don't have any tribes here, is that folks are traveling all the way from like Canada and Washington to be part of this and to also experience the beauty of Hawaii. Ne. So it's awesome. When, when we're speaking about this particular year, what other components can people expect to make up this powwow? Obviously, of course, we all have Maui on our mind. So we decided to dedicate this powwow to Maui. So there's going to be fundraisers, there's going to be um, ceremonial dances for them in honor of them for the survivors and to help them heal. So it's going to be two days. If you can't make it on Saturday, come on Sunday and we'll be here. And this year is actually the second year that the powwow will be hosted here at Bishop Museum. So I'm joined with Taylor Chang, who is from Bishop Museum. What is the significance of this powwow being hosted here at Bishop Museum, which is really like a pico of culture for us here in Hawaii? It's in Bishop Museum's mission to be a gathering place, is particularly for indigenous solidarity and to build indigenous power, not only locally, but across the Pacific and across the continent. So to be able to welcome and host our Native American ohana here is such a huge honor for for us and it is right in line with our mission. So we're incredibly honored and privileged to be able to uh, make to have this space where we can interconnect and build bridges with our Native American Ohana. Now most of the event will be taking place outside on the Great Lawn, but there will be some demonstrations as well. One of that being weaving and we're here with a Navajo weaver. We want to introduce Tashina Little Ben. Thank you very much for your time. What will you be sharing on the two days that you're hosting this demonstration with your audience? What would you want to share with them and get across? So I have a lot to share, um, it, a lot of teaching that was passed down for many generations in my tribe, Diné culture, and that is the gift of weaving that was passed down by a deity, Spider Woman. So I'll be sharing stories of Spider Woman and I'll be sharing um, ancestral techniques on how to process wool and to create yarn and eventually I get to um, I'll demonstrate how to create uh, weaving. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. I am so excited about this. So you're going to have the chance this weekend, two days again, Saturday and Sunday. This is once again the 47th annual Honolulu Intertribal Powwow being hosted right here at Bishop Museum. Both days starting at 9 o'clock, lasting till 5 o'clock. To register, you can do either online or in person. For all that information, be sure to visit our website, khon2.com. Kamakopili with KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.